What's good everybody? My name is Modi, this is Modi Makes, and today we got a new art challenge for y'all. I'm going to be trying out the 1101 art challenge. Um, how this art challenge works is you do a painting and you do the same painting in one minute, ten minutes, and one hour. I've seen this done by a lot of other artists on YouTube. Uh, the channel that I found it from is Jazza. If you guys haven't seen Jazza's YouTube videos, I, I have no idea how because he's huge. But you should check out the channel, it's fantastic. He's a really talented multimedia artist. He pretty much works in everything and anything. He likes to try new, out new things and it's just a really entertaining channel. So if you haven't checked that stuff out, but today we're gonna be working on this <laughs> painting of a scout trooper from Star Wars, one of my favorite designs and I'm a huge Star Wars nerd, always have been since I was a little lad. I'm gonna be doing this digitally. I know that Jazza did it physically and whatnot a lot of other artists on youtube do it physically but i prefer to paint digitally i'm a lot more comfortable with digital painting than i am with physical painting and um i just kind of wanted to have fun with this so <laughs> okay so we're gonna get into this and um i've already prepared a sketch i'm giving myself a little bit of a crutch by having a sketch prepared for each one that way i don't have to completely resketch my subject every single time but i will not be using my reference that i used for the sketch so the shading and the coloring and stuff is all on me so we got ourselves our sketch here. The first thing I'm gonna obviously do is I'm gonna lay down some base colors and start blocking in. Oh, I need to uh, <laughs> get my timer going, of course, or else this challenge doesn't really mean anything. I rocked in the Casio today, very classy, keeping it classic so that I can use it for uh, my stopwatch because I'm recording this video on my phone here and then screen recording on my iPad so I don't have anything else to use the timer for. So it's just gonna be this one and let's get into it, go. Oh, actually, I should choose my background color first. That's gonna be crucial. I think I'm gonna go with a red, magenta-ish red, pale. Well, it's pretty heavily saturated, but a kind of paler than full saturation magenta red, I think is gonna be cool because then the whites and the blacks will stand out nicely and they all play together really well. Oh, I didn't even choose my brush. Or yeah, what am I doing? I'm gonna go with the acrylic brush. There we go, that's a much better idea. All right, now I'm just gonna block in colors to start. Uh, I'm not gonna be super careful with the lines yet because I don't have the time to be super careful with the lines right now. I'm just gonna get all into it and then I will erase it to match the lines better later. You gotta do a couple passes when you're working in Procreate with your paints because they want you to be able to blend them and stuff. I prefer to work in multiple layers personally um, rather than working in one layer and blending everything. But you can get more of a traditional painterly effect if you do um, just use it all in one layer and then um, work on it like that and they even have a wet acrylic brush which allows you to kind of even get more um, blends in there but I'm just gonna go with the normal acrylic brush because I'm just a little more comfortable with it and <laughs> I'm already on a time limit so so let me know you guys any of you guys who are big Star Wars fans let me know what's your favorite Star Wars character design was. I was always a big fan of the Scout Trooper. I love the visor that he has and the <laughs> the blockers on the helmet. I always thought that was really cool even as a little kid. And uh, I've maintained that to this day that it is very cool. I, t I played a ton of Battlefront and stuff when I was younger. Honestly every once in a while I still play it now because the old Battlefronts, not the new ones. The new ones or whatever, um, they're too much just like COD with Star Wars skins for me. But the old Battlefronts, Battlefront 1 and 2, I played obsessively and I still pick up every once in a while. But I bring that up because I always liked playing as the snipers. Make sure to change your eraser to the same brush that you're using for the actual piece. And I'm not going to be completely perfect with how I erase stuff right now. I'm not a person who generally works on art super quickly. 
I prefer to take my time and make sure that it's perfect and stuff. I'm, I'm a huge perfectionist. When it comes to uh, my art, a lot of the time, so <laughs> this is definitely a little out of my wheelhouse, but it's always good to push yourself to try something new. You learn a lot doing that. Hmm, now comes one of the issues with not working with the reference and having a really basic sketch. <laughs> I'm not sure I remember all the parts that are the white armor versus the leather <laughs> under armor stuff. You would think after watching Star Wars like a million times that you would be able to tell immediately, but nope, not when you start actually working. Then you forget everything about everything that you've ever known. I'm pretty sure this is white. So yeah, when I like when I work um, painting digitally, I just kind of like to roughly block in the layers. It's actually I've I've heard this a lot from more traditional painters that they work in a very similar way. Um, block in the colors first, and then you know kind of slowly block in different shapes for the highlights and the shadows and whatnot, and uh, just slowly move the paint around until you get it to a place where you like it. And I tend to be a person who likes my paintings to be, you know, a little bit messier than like a very, very realistic painting and whatnot. Cause I, if you've seen my uh, video on the Rick and Morty painting that I did, I talk about this. I like having stuff where the artist's hand is apparent and the paint brush strokes are apparent and, and that sort of thing. So I tend to like my stuff not to be super, super clean. Obviously you want enough detail that <laughs> you can tell what everything is. Um, but with more of an implied style using the actual paintbrush strokes themselves to make the implications rather than just actually <laughs> having heavy, heavy details everywhere, I think is a little more interesting and makes it into more of, I don't know, I guess, uh, <laughs> makes it more like a painting and less like a photograph, really. And that's kind of the point of painting, is it not? <laughs> Jesus, so <laughs> I'm already 13 minutes in and I just have my base color layers down. I have no idea how I'm gonna do the one minute version of this. It's gonna be interesting to say the least. <laughs> um, but now let's get in to getting some details on there. Um, I think I'm gonna start by doing the details on the black first. So getting some highlights and whatnot, since I chose the darkest color for the blacks to start off with, which may not have been the best idea, but is what I did. So we're just gonna roll with it. I'm now definitely questioning why I chose a subject with a bunch of like complicated armor pieces. An interesting choice by me. What you gonna do? We're here now. thought it was once I took the sketch away. <laughs> Alright, let's see how we're doing. 
That's not terrible. All right, let's get to the shading on the white. And I'm, since I'm using a red background, I'm going to make the shadows for the white a bluish color. A really, really desaturated blue-gray. Um, because generally, if you have a warm highlight, you want cold shadows and vice versa. We just hit halftime, folks. <laughs> Gotta get it going. Now it's time to start doing some cleanup for a little bit because I've got plenty of time left. Uh-oh, 40 minutes, only 20 minutes left. Work faster, Drew. Faster. Okay, okay, okay. I can already tell this is gonna make me feel all good. <laughs> I'm just going to be completely fooled into a false sense of security. Alright, we need to stop fooling around with the armor. Well, we, I, <laughs> need to stop fooling around with the armor and give back to the leather bondage suit. Because... <laughs> I haven't touched that in a while and it is rough right now. All right, let's see how we're doing. Oh, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. I need an in-between color. Oh boy, folks, it's that time. It's the final 10 minutes. Gotta get it in. I think the best thing I'm gonna be able to do now is get white highlights in.
you know, you think that one hour is a lot of time to do something like this, then you get into it and it just disappears on you completely. I am now in the last five minutes and, you know, I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out, but I wouldn't exactly call it like <laughs> one of the greatest paintings ever or anything. It's obviously very rough, but uh, as far as it goes, as me not really being <laughs> a painter in reality, I'm pretty happy with it. I know I'm being terrible for commentary right now. This is actually <laughs> getting pretty stressful once you get down to it. I was uh, expecting this to be more fun and joking, but then you get... <laughs> pretty competitive and you were like, well, I want the viewers to see something that's really good and shows it off, you know. We're in the final minute. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Time is up. All right guys, so here's where we are after the one hour of drawing. Honestly, it's better than I expected it to be, but also <laughs> I wasn't able to get nearly as much detail as I expected. And now I am terrified for the 10 minute and the uh, one minute painting. I don't even know how I'm gonna get anything in the one minute besides just like the general shape of <laughs> the white areas and the black areas. But uh, we're gonna try it, but... Um, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with this one, I can't lie. I'm pretty stoked about how this turned out. It's it's just a lot better than I expected it to be and it's actually like a pretty decent painting for what it is. All right, 10 minute sketch, or sorry, 10 minute painting. And let's do it. This is where you start to get really annoyed that you have to go over everything twice in Procreate because you're like, dude, I don't have time to be doing everything twice right now. I don't even have time to do everything once. The outside's are gonna be messy. You're gonna have to deal with that, folks. It's just how it is. Yeah, I'm already two minutes in. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do anything for the one minute painting. Screw it, we're going straight into shading. I'm not uh, dealing with any of that right now. You know, there's, there's something there. It's a thing. It, it still reads. Thirty seconds. Oh my god, it's so little time. It's like I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know what to do because I don't even know what I can do with that amount of time. And time. Well, there you go. Uh, <laughs> I am kind of happy that it still reads like it still looks like a scout trooper you can tell that it's specifically a scout trooper not a storm trooper i don't know how i'm gonna do one minute <laughs> it's not possible why did i do this to myself why why are you making me do this right now <laughs> first off let's marvel once again at this amazing one hour painting everyone <laughs> can agree that this is fantastic and I nailed it. Then back to the 10 minute. <laughs> not terrible, not good. <laughs> At least it'll only last a minute. So <laughs> no matter how badly it goes, it'll be over quickly. <laughs> it's like getting a shot at a doctor. And here we go. 
Oh my god. I don't have time for anything. 20 seconds is already gone. <laughs> Black there, black there. <laughs> some over there, some down here. Oh my god, we're almost to the last 10 seconds. Get the black in. And done. <laughs> yep, there's a... <laughs> That's our boy Ghost Man, uh, Skull Kid. <laughs> um... <laughs> yeah, that one doesn't read. <laughs> It doesn't read at all. I don't think I'm gonna keep that or show it to anyone. <laughs> Just gotta keep it for long enough to make the thumbnail. <laughs> and then I need to get rid of this abomination forever. Because holy shit, that's the worst thing I've created since I was like in kindergarten probably. <laughs> Actually, even me in kindergarten probably could have made something better than that. <laughs> he just looks like the shittiest Robocop <laughs> that's ever existed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I didn't expect it to be good, but I thought I could get more done than that in a minute, to be honest. But, nope, nope. <laughs> well, it is what it is, so let's go through them all again. One hour. Ten minute. One minute. <laughs> Truly a thing of beauty. We're gonna sit on the one hour one as we go out. <laughs> All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this style of video, me doing art challenges and just kind of talking about painting process and showing you guys how to do some digital painting and stuff like that, let me know in the comments below. If you have any ideas for uh, videos that you'd like to see in the future or just things that you'd like me to try or show you how to do, um, also comment those below. That would be fantastic. If you like what I did here or if you just like what I do here in general, it would be awesome if you guys give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That would help me out a ton and I can't appreciate it enough. Um, and outside of that, if you are looking to get more tips on painting from me and just see more of my full process painting stuff, um, you should check out my video on the Rick and Morty painting that I did for season five, which I will add to the end card of this video. So you can just wait until then and check it out from there. Um, and if you guys want to pick up some dope clothing like the shirt that I'm wearing right now. Uh, this is the OG Live Free or Die shirt. It's because the Live Free or Die in the back. <laughs> um, go to heartwarmclothing.com. I sell all the merch there. Um, it's my clothing brand that I do on the side of this. Um, it helps me stay independent and it's really a dream for me to have it. So if you want to check it out and want to pick up some really nice shirts, go to heartwarmclothing.com and check them out. They're all very plush premium, 6.1 ounce, 100% spun cotton with sewn on patches on the front and hand drawn designs by me on the back. Um, so just check those out if you'd like to. And other than that, um, I will see you guys again soon. And thank you so much for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.